Welcome to this lecture and presentation about team cohesion. I want you to think of a team that you identify with. What comes to mind when you think of this team? Visualize all the things that you think this team represents. For this presentation, I will use the Ohio State Buckeyes as a team that I identify with and we'll use them as an example for this lecture. So what is team cohesion? According to the textbook, it is the total field of forces which act on members to remain in the group. There are also two different types of forces that act on the members in a group. There's the attractiveness of the group, which means the individual's desire for interpersonal interactions with other group members and a desire to be involved in the group's activities. And there is the means control, which can be described as the benefits that a member can derive by being associated with the group. So when a student and or athlete chooses to go to Ohio State, they may choose the school because they have a desire to be an exclusive part of this group, commonly known as Buckeye Nation, and be involved in activities such as going to sporting events. You know, of course, when there isn't a pandemic happening. The means control for a person who is a part of this group may be a sense of belongingness, forming friendships and relationships, academic and athletic opportunities, etc. Cohesion is also a combination of task and social dimensions. Task cohesion is the degree to which members of a group work together to achieve common goals. This, is, this also depends on the team's coordinated effort otherwise known as teamwork. Social cohesion is known as the degree to which members of a team like each other and enjoy one another's company. When looking at athletic programs at Ohio State, the football team in particular, they have long and intense practices where the team works together so they can achieve the common goal of winning the next game and playing as the most cohesive team possible and really exemplifying how their great teamwork benefits them in the long run. The social cohesion can be seen by the nicknames that the football team has for themselves and their fans. You'll hear people referencing the team as, quote, the brotherhood, which makes it clear that the players are very close to one another and may even think of each other as, quote unquote, brothers. So it's evident that these players enjoy working together. Building team cohesion involves understanding the experience of individual athletes on the team and discovering ways the team can become personally invested on the team, feel satisfied with their contributions they're making, and feel responsibility for the team's cohesiveness and success. This is usually done during the team practices and possibly during any extra team building exercises they might do outside of the standard practices. When a team is successful in winning a game or receiving positive attention from the media, such as being highly ranked amongst other NCAA teams, it might be easy for them to feel satisfied with their contributions to the team and potentially even motivate them to keep up those contributions. This could also make it easy for the athletes to become more personally invested in the team if they believe they are making these contributions for the sake of their brotherhood. Now, just a quick question for everybody. What are some of your favorite ways to build team cohesion? Who do you normally do them with? Before we discuss what coaches can do to build team cohesion, we're going to watch the short video made by the Ohio State football program. This is all just a test. Everything that's going on this year is just a test. And you think of it that way, it challenges you. The test of your resolve, the test of your character, it's a test of your sacrifice. And so you learn a lot about yourself in moments like this. I just want to share one thing before we get started. We have moments in life that we all go through. This is another moment for the Buckeyes. How you handle this moment will dictate the future. Do it this moment right now. And to tomorrow comes, we'll take care of that moment. Let's get on the plane tomorrow. Let's go play four course football. That's the tradition here. That's what the Buckeye means. It's not about none of us, but it's about all of us.
After watching this video, it's obvious that the coach speaking exemplified multiple of these ways coaches can build cohesion. He was communicating to his players effectively in an intense tone with inspiring words about how the team and individual players can help each other. He was instilling pride within the different areas of the team by addressing everyone and challenging the group goals by encouraging them to fight for the current moment. He was also encouraging their group identity by talking about the team as a whole and not just discussing individual people. By doing this, he also steers the team away from forming any kinds of social cliques. He shows great transformational leadership through his inspiring words that shows he really cares about his players and helping them be successful athletes and people in general. And he was enhancing the team efficacy by galvanizing them to think they are capable of great things, not just as a, as a team, if they work effectively together. In conclusion, the Ohio State University football program has put the greater good of the team or Buckeye Nation above everything else. Everything is always said in terms of we, our, or team, or for Ohio. They truly are the embodiment of the phrase, there is no I in team. The strong cohesion has a substantial effect on the great success rate of the team. The coaching staff has plays a huge role in the tenacious sense of cohesion among Buckeye Nation. And it's important to remember that students are also a part of this team. Without, without the students, a big part of the Buckeye Nation fan base would be gone, and the motivation for players to fight for not just themselves, but for Ohio State as a whole would most likely decrease. And pictured here, a great example of this would be the line in the Ohio State fight song that goes, our honor defend will fight to the end for Ohio. Now it's your turn to think about how you can improve team cohesion. What are some ways that you can improve team cohesion among the teams that you are a part of? Is there anything that you think your coaches or leaders could do better to help? And what other teams that you are familiar with are also good examples of what it means to have strong team cohesion?